Welcome back, guys. This Connex box, this garage of mine over here, that's got to get cleaned up. As I stated in the last video, I've got to get it organized. Hang out for a little while, we'll get this thing leveled out and get it organized. So yes, I have to level this Connex box out. Now, I have a way of doing it, and it's not with the backhoe. The backhoe won't even come close to picking this thing up. The tar weight on the door, get a picture of this right here. Tar weight, that means this box empty weighs 8,160 pounds. And the max it can hold structurally is 71,650 pounds. So by itself, this box weighs 8,160 pounds. And I'm going to pick it up with everything inside it. One man, no machine, no hydraulics. Just so you know, it's full. Two major toolboxes over here on the uphill side. All kinds of stuff on this shelving on the downhill side. I don't know how much this thing weighs right now, but I know it weighs a lot. So here's the plan. I'm going to pick this side of this Connex box up and I'm going to put maybe some pieces of cinder block under the corners, the front and back corners on this side. And then set it back down on top of those. And that should level it out. Hopefully those don't sink into the ground this winter when the ground gets soft. We'll deal with that if it happens. But I'd like you to say hello to my little friend. That is a house jack. Made by Duff Norton Company in Charlotte, North Carolina. It'll handle 15 tons. Now 15 tons is somewhere around 30,000 pounds. Connex box weighs 8,000 pounds by itself. I'm not thinking I have 20,000 pounds of stuff in there. So first thing we gotta do is get the ground dug out and use this as a base. It's a wider base for this to push down on the dirt. This dirt's kind of soft for about the first, I think, six inches to a foot. And we don't want to sink that jack in the ground. We want to pick this Connex box up. So let's make a platform here. And this is my other little friend, Mr. Prybar. This is an old axle shaft out of a trailer, a little utility trailer, and it just happens to fit right in there. And that's going to help me push down on that, which is going to pick that jack up. So put it under the bottom didn't work and I see why. If you look down here, this flange bent, allowing this to slip off of it. Probably because the way I was pulling was pulling the top of the jack out. So what I'm going to do is set this back up and we set it up underneath this. This won't bend because it's got the wall on top of it holding it in place. And now obviously these 2x4s have been stuffed into the ground pretty far now. So I'll get a 4x4 four four and stick on top of those. And then we should be high enough up to pick this thing back up. Thank you. 
So we've got a set of levers, one here and one here, for these two sets of teeth that bite in and help it pick this thing up. So you've got to get this one, you're going to put tension over here, and then release this, let up on the bar slightly so it catches the next set of teeth, and it'll drop it down one set of teeth, just like we went up one set of teeth at a time. I don't know if you can see that, but that bubble is as close to level as you're going to get. So if you're looking for one of these jacks, these house jacks or foundation jacks, I don't even know what they're called. I know you can get them on eBay. Uh, if you look up 15 ton jack, I'm sure it'll pop up there somewhere. I've seen them on eBay before. They're very heavy, so there's going to be a lot of shipping cost in shipping one. And depending on how much you use it, depends on whether you want to get one or not. I've only used this one once. Yeah. But I got mine for free. I got mine from a grandfather. When he passed, went through his garage, picked out the stuff I wanted, and that was that. That was one of them. I don't know why I picked it. Thought it was cool. Anyways, for my next trick, a little bit harder, I'm going to try and organize this Connex box. Now that it's nice and level, I can organize it. The drawer for my toolboxes won't roll open on their own. This door over here would constantly swing shut. I'd have to prop it open because it was swinging downhill, constantly shutting. So on another note, if you're gonna get one of these jacks and try and level out one of these Connex boxes, be safe. Don't haphazardly do it. Make sure you're not anywhere where you're gonna slide underneath it and it's gonna fall on you. Keep your fingers off from underneath it when you're putting blocks under it. Anything heavy you're picking up, this jack can break just like anything else. It can smash you, hurt you, kill you in an instant. So please, be careful if you're going to do this. So anyways, if you're new to the channel, you like the channel, hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. Hit the little bell for notifications. Smash that like button for us. Help this video get out there. Until next time, guys, go make something. Now you can see... I had to put a 2x4 on top of that, but it's even after the Connex box was sitting on that bottom block, that's what it was originally sitting on, compacting it into the soil. Just setting it down is, is breaking these blocks. So it's settling further down into the ground, just setting it down on it. I have no doubt after this winter, the ground's going to soften up and it's going to settle a little bit more and I might have to do something else put something else under there to hold this level again so this may not be the last time i have to do this